Alrighty, here we are. So the head is torqued down. Kind of fitted this. What I did is I got a, where is it? I got just a socket, a little spanner, held it on the side like that, like that, banged it in there. It's not good enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make up a special little tool. And yeah, see if I can do that. It's, um, yeah, it's all right. It is what it is. Um, but everything else is looking pretty, pretty good. So she's almost back together. I've got to finish fitting the head. I've got to waiting on parts again. So I'm waiting on timing belt, tensioner belts, uh, not tensioner belts, alternator belt and all that jargon. Uh, what else am I waiting on? Um, thermostat, just the basics really to get it going. So I've got to put all this minus that air intake. So I'm kind of debating putting that on because I'm, uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to hate to hear this, but um, I'm not a big fan of the one Gareth made. It uh, has, a, has a crack in one of the welds and oil's escaping out of it. So yeah, I'm... so there's my new injectors in. They're um, done by a company called High Tech Diesel Injection. Highly rate them. They um, seem like they really got their shit together. High quality products. And um, I think they're gonna do really well. I can't rate them yet because I haven't actually ran them, but initial impressions of the company, they seem pretty fucking sick. So I just put the studs in for the exhaust manifold. But um, seeing as we got a broken stud here, I'll show you how I would get rid of that stud. So um, if, if say you were reusing this head, this is what I would do to, to get the stud out. I've also got to remove one of these studs so I can buy some new ones for the uh, for the new exhaust side. So let's get going to that. stuck stud so you can see that one snapped I've actually got just a little tiny bit of thread there so I'm gonna try to twist this on just that just to hold this nut here while I weld it yep there we go so if you couldn't do that you could also use a magnet like kind of like that just to hold it in the center of the nut while you weld it all right so what I'll do next is I'll weld that center in and then I can just unscrew it I need to be able to see what I'm doing and not focus on the camera. Uh, glove. Uh, so I've turned my temp way up because I think I was running cool then. Let's see how I go now. See if I got it. Almost dropped you. But yeah, I got it.
progress has been made. So I've put in all the rock arms, camshaft is in, um, camshaft seal, new seal here, as well as a new seal on the back of this in here. Um, temp sensor here, oh, sorry, coolant temp sensor here, water, I mean oil temp sensor here. Uh, what else have I done? I fitted this pulley, as you can see it's in the timing position. Timing position, timing position. So, as soon as the timing, actually I could probably put the old timing belt on. So I'm gonna do the clearances and then um, do a full, a couple of full rotations of the uh, of the engine and see where we're at. So for the rocker arms, they're fully out. So twist it out, twist it out, ready to be timed. Um, what am I doing now? So now I'm getting the oil cooler ready to be put back on. So that'll be put on a uh, random other little thing that I did. Put the earth onto the head. Um, just painted, just cause it looked like shit. I just painted the, um, the mount. And that's about it for now. So I had this fully assembled, fully timed. Then I realized I forgot the end caps on all of the valves that was still in the old head. So I've got to come through, take off every single valve again, do that again. So just remember, uh, I actually found that because I was just scrolling through the manual, the, the rebuild manual. And then I seen it there, seen all the pieces laid out and I realized, hey, I left a bit out. So yeah, lucky I caught that now. Alrighty, getting stuck into it. So. Just fitted the timing belt, got the tensioner spring on, belt's nice and tensioned. So for some people that don't know, these belts have a direction, so it spins with the way the engine goes. So I'm arrows up, because I'm assuming it goes to the right. Uh, engines don't spin to the left generally. Like some of the gears in here might, but this will move to the right, right, right. Um, yes, yeah, so the timing belt's on, I'm just cleaning up the nuts to put the cap onto the timer uh, little cap thing that holds just it's just like a belt retentioner um, she seems pretty pretty good you don't want it crazy tight you just want it nice uh, and then I'm gonna fit all the tensioner pulley and stuff put the alternator back on put all the belts up and then I'm gonna start spinning her around and doing my valve clearances Alrighty, so I've just chucked the alternator on. That's purely just so I can uh, turn the engine easily from my 24 mil on here and spin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start doing valve clearances. So, yeah, I'll do what looks like one cylinder at a time. So it looks like cylinder one. It's right about where I want it. So what you want is you want the smooth side to be touching the valves so you don't want the valves to be engaging at all uh, what else have I done I put on the thermostat put on the thermostat housing um, timing belt I already showed you I haven't really done much put on support bracket for the alternator and the idler pulley painted this orange Looks like shit though, because the alternator scratched it up, but whatever. Yeah, so now it's time for valve clearances.
Alright, got some bolts on that, make them off again. Let's give that another go, hey? Just coming around a couple of times. My timing marks come back into place, which is what you want to see. Let's keep going. So that means I've done about one full compression stroke. Yeah, you can see the valves. They're all doing their jobs. Oh, it looks like we're just about to come back around. Right. It looks like we're coming back to our timing marks. So I can say with confidence, I've done the timing gears right. Uh, I'm 80% confident, still a little bit nervous. Um, just turning over, gonna go for a few more. Just because I want to. Um, no, I absolutely guarantee I'm not hearing any hits. I'm not hitting any hard spots. I'm just going to put you back down. You see? Yep. Alright, after all that, the timing marks are still lined up. Nothing's jumped out of tooth or anything. I'm feeling pretty good. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back through, check all of my clearances again, and then I'm going to do that again as well. So, check all my clearances, do a few full rotations. Check all my clearances again. Valve clearances is what I'm talking about, obviously. And then, um, then the fun stuff. So the uh, removal begins. So I stole the alternator off this one because I know it's good. So yeah, I used the alternator, I know. Um, it's time to start pulling this bad girl out. There it is. Gone through it all again. Um, so, on cylinder four, the exhaust uh, valve, the clearance wasn't right. So I'm glad I double checked that. But um, yeah, pretty happy with it. I reckon it's gonna it's just gonna be a goer. So now. Now I'm gonna start getting ready to get her in. Uh, there is a few more bits and pieces like vacuum pump, 
power steering pump, none of that's on. This is blocking my access to, to that, so I need to get it off the stand. Uh, I'll probably just put it on the crane. After I pull the other engine, I'll put this on the crane and then I'll use, I'll use the, uh, I'll put the other engine on the stand and then I'll come through and I'll get all the flywheel clutch, all that off the other one. Not much else really. Flywheel clutch. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see which one has better vacuum pumps and stuff and put, put the best on this one at the moment. But yeah, time to start pulling out this bad girl.